Hello everyone, this is Jay Kalpana here. In this video, we are going to solve a differential equation from higher order linear differential equations with non-constant equations or variable equations. So let's get going. Problem. x squared d square x squared into d square y by dx squared plus 4x into dy by dx plus 2y equals to x log x to the base e. So we are given a differential equation with variable equations will reduce to differential equation with constant coefficient okay given differential equation x square into d square y by dx square plus 4x into dy by dx plus 2y equals to x log x to the base e. Consider the given equation as equation 1. Okay, we know that d is a differential operator with independent variable x. Then d square will be d square by dx square. Right? Now we can write the given equation as d square y x square d square y plus 4x dy plus 2y equals to x log x to the base e. Now, Take y common from all the three terms of LHS, we'll get x square d square plus 4xd plus 2 into y equals to x log x to the base e. Right? Now, we'll reduce this equation to differential equation with constant coefficients by putting put x equals to e power z, then log x to the base e equals to z for x greater than 0, and let theta equals to dy dz, okay? The theta is a differential operator, and z is a independent variable, okay? Then, xd will be equals to theta, x square d square equals to theta into theta minus 1. Consider as equation 2, then equation 2 becomes replace x square d square by theta into theta minus 1 plus 4 into replace x d by theta plus 2 into y equals to replace x by e power z and log x to the base e by z. Okay, this becomes theta into theta theta square minus theta into 1 theta plus 4 theta plus 2 into y equals to z into e power z. Then this equation becomes theta square minus theta plus 4 theta is plus 3 theta plus 2 into y equals to z into e power z. This is in operator form, right? f of theta into y equals to some function of z in the RHS. Where f of theta equals to theta square plus 3 theta plus 2. Now we need to find the general solution to the given equation. So we'll use the reduced equation to find the general solution. Now we need to find yc and yp because we'll get general solution by y equals to yc plus yp. Now let's find yc and yp. The auxiliary equation. is f of m equals to 0 where f of m equals to we have f of theta equals to theta square minus 3 theta plus 2 let's replace differential operator by m so that we'll get f of m equals to m square plus 3m plus 2 now our auxiliary equation becomes m square plus 3m plus 2 equals to 0 now we need to find roots right let's write plus 3m or split plus 3m as 2m plus m plus 2 equals to 0. Now take m common from the first two terms. We'll get m times m plus 2. And write the next two terms as it is. 
Now take m plus 2 common from these two terms. We'll get m plus 2 into m plus 1 equals to 0. Now we equate each factor to 0. From m plus 2 equals to 0, we'll get m equals to minus 2. From m plus 1 equals to 0, we'll get m equals to minus 1. Right? Then m equals to minus 2. Minus 1 are the roots of our auxiliary equation. Therefore, the roots are real and distinct. Or we can call them as real and different. Now let's write the complementary function. We know that when two roots are real and different, then yc will be one constant into e power one root into independent variable plus another constant into e power another root into independent variable. Then our complementary function looks like yc equals to c1 into e power one root minus two into z plus another constant into e power another root minus one into z. Then y c is equal to c1 into e power minus 2z plus c2 e power minus z. Okay. Now we are having y c in terms of z. So let's replace it with, I mean let's write this in terms of x. We know that x equals to e power z, right? Let's write e power minus 2z as e power z whole power minus 2. Okay, plus c2 into, write e power minus z as e power z power minus 1. This equals to c1 into, replace, since e power z equals to x, then this becomes yc equals to c1 into x power minus 2 plus c2 into x power minus 1, right, which is equals to c1 by x square plus c2 by x. We got yc now. Let's find yp particular integral. We'll find yp using 1 by f of theta into RHS part z e power z. Where f of theta is theta square plus 3 theta plus 2 into z into e power z. So this is of 1 by f of theta into e power a z into some v form, right? Now shift e power a z towards left by replacing theta with t plus theta plus a, then we get f of theta plus a, right? Into v. Later we'll operate v with 1 by f of theta plus a. Now compare z e power z with e power a x into v. For a equals to 1, we'll find theta plus a, which is equals to theta plus 1. Shift e power z towards left by replacing theta with theta plus 1. We will get theta plus 1 whole square into 3 into theta plus 1 plus 2 into z. This becomes e power z into 1 by expand theta plus 1 whole square which is equal to theta square plus 1 plus 2 theta plus 3 theta plus 3 into 1 3 plus 2 into z which is equal to e power z into 1 by theta square plus 2 theta plus 3 theta is 5 theta 1 plus 3 plus 2 is 6 into z so this is all 1 by some function of theta into z form, right? Now, take the lowest degree term common from all the three terms. We'll get e power z into 1 by, in the first two terms we don't have 6, so let's multiply and divide 6 to the first two terms, plus 6 into z. Now take 6 common in the denominator, it gets 6 times, 
theta squared plus pi theta by 6 plus 1 into z. Now, we can write this as 1 by 6 into right theta squared plus pi theta by 6 plus 1 as 1 plus theta squared plus pi theta by 6 into z is equals to e power z into now split the fraction as 1 by 6 into 1 by 1 plus theta square plus pi theta by 6 into z right this becomes e power z into 1 by 6 into we can write 1 by 1 plus this term as 1 plus theta square plus pi theta by 6 into z. Since this is of 1 by 1 plus x form, so we can write it as 1 plus x whole inverse. Okay. Now we can use binomial series expansion. 1 plus x whole inverse equals to 1 minus x plus x square minus x cube plus so on. Okay. Now let's find derivatives of z. Derivative of z is 1. Theta square of z is derivative of 1 with respect to z. Or you can just theta square z as theta of theta of z. We have the value of theta of z which is 1. See here theta is a differential operator with respect to z. Right? So constant with respect to z is 0. So we will get theta square of z 0. Likewise theta cube of z is 0 and so on. In general, theta power k of z equals to 0 for k equals to 2, 3 and so on. Now keeping this in mind, we will expand 1 minus x whole inverse. I mean 1 plus x whole inverse. Equals to 1 minus x. Plus x square minus x cube and so on. Okay, minus plus and so on. This is equals to 1 minus 1 by 6 into theta square plus 5 theta plus theta square plus 5 theta whole square by 6 square minus so on. This is equals to 1 minus 1 by 6 into theta square plus pi theta plus x prime d square plus pi theta whole square. Sorry, theta square plus pi theta whole square is theta power 4 plus 25 theta square plus 2 pi is a 10 theta cube. Right? So here we have higher derivatives okay we we'll get 1 by 36 into theta power 4 plus 25 theta square plus 10 theta cube right minus so see we can neglect higher derivative terms or higher derivatives from theta square theta cube and so on right so we can neglect theta square from the first term and here theta power 4, theta square, theta cube because we have derivative of z for only theta, right? I mean the value for derivatives of derivative of z for only theta. So we'll take only 5 theta and 1 here. Okay, now coming to yp. Value becomes e power z of 1 by 6 into e power z into 1 minus, write this step, theta square plus 5 theta by 6. See, we can neglect all the terms from here. Completely, we can neglect all the higher derivative terms from here because it involves completely higher derivatives from 2, 3 and so on, right? 
I mean high over derivatives d power k of z for k equals to 2, 3 and so on. So we can neglect, we are going to neglect all the terms from here. Theta squared plus 5 theta by 6 whole square minus so on into z. This becomes 1 by 6 into e power z into 1 minus theta squared plus 5 theta by 6 plus theta squared plus 5 theta whole square by 6 square minus so on into z. This becomes 1 by 6 into e power z into 1 minus theta squared plus 5 theta by 6 plus theta power 4 expansion of theta squared plus 5 theta whole square is theta power 4 plus 25 theta square plus 10 theta cube by 6 square is 36 into z okay you can write minus so on into z Since theta power k of z equals to 0 for k equals to 2, 3 and so on. So neglect theta square, theta cube and so on or higher derivative terms. So we are going to neglect theta square, theta power 4, theta square, theta cube. Okay, or completely terms from here. Okay, we are going to neglect all the terms from here. So this becomes 1 by 6 into e power z into 1 minus theta square plus 5 theta by 6 into z. Okay, again. Eliminate or oh sorry, omit theta square here. Then yp becomes 1 by 6 into e power z into 1 minus 5 theta by 6 or 5 by 6 into theta into z. Right? This becomes 1 by 6 into e power z into 1 into z z minus 5 by 6 into theta of z. We have the value for theta of z which is 1. Just replace it. We we'll get z minus 5 by 6 into 1, which is equal to 1 by 6 into e power z into z minus 5 by 6. Now, let's write yp in terms of x by replacing z by log x and e power z by x. Then yp becomes 1 by 6 into e power z into replace x by log x. We will get log x minus 5 by 6. We forgot to replace e power z, right? Replace e power z by x. Then yp equals to x by 6 into log x minus 5 by 6. So we got yp and yc. Let's write the general solution. The general solution is given by y equals to yc plus yp. Then y equals to yc we have c1 by x square plus y plus sorry c1 by x square plus c2 by x and yp is x by 6 into log x minus 5 by 6. This completes the problem. So we have seen a problem from higher order linear differential equations with variable coefficients or non-constant coefficients in this video. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.